I always use protective boots on my horses. Uh, every one of my horses I have a lot of value in and I have a lot of money invested in. So um, this is no different than, than the NFL or football players or anything like that. All of these boots, uh, they're not on here just for a pretty color. They're something that is, is used for a purpose. These are the bell boots on, that most of you guys probably know about, but the bell boot is there to protect the foot, protect the ball of the foot. These horses get going really fast in, in uh, all kinds of conditions, hard arenas, soft arenas, um, and it just protects them from overreaching. You know, anytime a horse's back foot comes forward, they, their front foot gets hung up in the ground, their back foot comes forward, and they hit their front foot, you're out anywhere from six weeks to six months, you never know. And you're talking about a $30 pair of boots to save you six months. You know, I had a really a, a smart guy tell me one time that uh, I asked him about a bale of hay that had a little mold on it. And I said, do you think this will be okay? And he said, you're talking about a $50,000 horse and a $9 bale of hay. He said, what kind of sense does that make? Well, that's the way I feel about boots on my horses. A lot of people don't understand how important this protective gear is. These front splint boots here are used as all support. The whole thing is used to support. You wrap this underneath here and it supports all the tendons and everything. Like I said, these horses are, are, are one of the most important tools in what I do for a living. And I don't ever make a run without having splint boots, bell boots, and back boots. The back boots are the same thing. It's, it's a suspensory and tendon. You know, it just helps hold everything together and keep everything right and also protects them from ever hitting each other. Or head horses, when they face a lot, tend to want to step a little too far and hit themselves. It's protection against that. Heel horses, when they drag their you know, drag their back legs into the ground. They'll burn themselves on different kinds of ground and it protects that. Like everybody, when I started, didn't have the knowledge of using these things and can't tell you how many times that I had injuries to my horses because I didn't have, didn't know that I needed to have this kind of protective gear. Uh, if you have any value or, or concern with your horse, there's nothing more important than starting with safety, keeping their legs safe, and keep them going a lot longer.